upper body warm up here, uh, starting with crawls, emphasizing, I'm gonna do a stretchy crawl, but I'm gonna emphasize one arm supports. So moving around from one arm to the other, spending some time moving around those different angles of support, back support, side, overhead support, front support, um, and passing through those actively. You know, we're gonna be, this is aiming toward a, um, a pushing press, uh, press movement. Afterwards, we'll give arms a break, and we'll come up and do some uh, lead rolling squats. So I'll lead people with their breath being smooth and tying their exhales to fold, inhales. So roll squat is very much like um, an eagle. And then I'm going to sweep my arms back on the way back to help set my spine line, and then let them scoop forward as I come up. Do let knees come forward. This is not a, uh, a hinge. I'm trying to load up my uh, roll squat just like I would load up uh, a jump. So it's like a half squat or a jump. Um, and then we'll come down to some one-arm mounted valleys. This can be done with one hand as a kickstand, one hand as a kickstand, or one hand all together. So I'll do you know a couple of reps on each one. Um, then we'll come back to feet, and now we'll do eagle swings. Same uh, use of the arms to set spine line on the way back, to counterbalance, and use a little momentum for this one. The arm swing will help a little momentum, a little momentum on the way back up. Uh, then we'll do three pushes. So this can be done from standing, or it can be done um, like Qigong style, martial arts style, from a horse stance. Either way is fine. But push, three pushes, dropping shoulders down, firing from underneath the arm, not on top of the arm. And push number one is pressing out and in front. Keep elbows dropped, everything presses down. Fully extended, um, arms or hands uh, dorsiflexed. And then come back in. Push number two is pressing up to overhead. So fingers back, arms to the overhead position as best as you can. And reset with elbows behind. And then push number three out to the side. Opening up shoulder blades and scaps, peeling ourselves open as we press our hands um, out to the side. So you might just walk them through, you know, one or, or maybe two or three cycles of that. Uh, and then we'll do some Egyptians. Key here is lifting. So elevate the shoulder first and then turn it over. Elevate and return, lift, turn the shoulder over. So it's not just turning the lift and turning the wrist over, internally rotating, externally rotating. I like to do these emphasizing the elevation and the rotation inward here first, but you could build to one arm, works on a little external rotation, one internal back and forth side to side. And again, leading them and cueing them through that. Uh, and then I'll finish with some twists to whips. So starting with a gentle twist, allowing my whole body to spiral on top of my feet. Arms are loose. A twist becomes a whip when I start using my ground force to whip my arms around. So use some control, use some tension in the center. This is an active twist. Your hand is gonna come around kind of like a giant, uh, ugly round uh, roundhouse hook punch. Um, Haymaker, but you can control it. So just bring it back in, pull it back into your center line before the other one whips around. But the feeling is that I'm driving into one foot using that ground force and that pivot, and that twist to whip around. So it's a fun way to get some traction um, into uh, our arms, but also a fun way of feeling ground force and feeling the force pass through the body and out through the arms uh, before we do some, uh, some pressing off the body.